So, at long last, here's another video. Lately, I've been fishing a lot of dry flies and I've had a lot of success on orange shuttlecocks and um, grey dusters and stuff. But this wee fly I'm about to show you is, has produced some amount of fish for me. Either size 14 or 16, fish it close to trees or the banks or the island under still water. Anywhere where bugs can drop off and land in the water. So we're going to get going. Um, you can use a B170 size 14 and a 16 is a must. A 16 is a really good pattern but I'm going to tie this on a 14 just to make it easier. Thread, UTC, um, 70 or something similar. You will also need a black um, cape. I use a genetic cape and black super fine dubbin. Also um, you can use any colour of Antron but I've had really good success with the pattern using orange so I don't know if that's relevant or not but that's just how I tie them. So let's get started. For this tie in your thread. I tie in till the point and then back up halfway between the point and the eye. And cut that off and at this point we're going to tie in our post. So, only you on throwing, I just tie it forward, there's lots of ways, pinch and loop, and then catch it a few times, cut this off at an angle, and we're going to come on down here a bit then, so roughly where the barb is, or slightly past the barb, and from the big um, hackle, you want to take off, I don't know, maybe say 10 or so. No need to be mad fussy with these, just take a bunch in around that. Length of the hook shank, or a bit smaller. And then I'm going to pinch and lip this again. Catch it in to secure it. And then one under it, just to splay them out a bit. At this point, I'm going to trim off the excess and come back up. When we get behind here we're going to take a few wraps in front just to keep it up and then you can start tying it around just like so. So honestly give us fly a go and give me some feedback on how you get on but it's been a seriously good fly for me. So, at this point, come back down, stop sort of at the end of that, take a tiny pinch of super fine dubbing, you can always add more on, it's a bit of a pain to take excess off. So, so we've just got a wee noodle on. Slide this up a wee tad to here. And you want this to be tightish. You don't need loads and loads of dubbing on this fly. So just dub it up like so. A wee bit more dubbing. A wee bit more dubbing, bring it up just behind that post and at this point we're going to tie in our haggle. It's going to be a power shoot version so there's loads of ways you can tie these but it, honestly for me this has been working great. So once you get your haggles what I like to do is at the bottom, you've probably seen this before, just cut it into a wee barb and shiny side facing me so the underside of the hackle is facing away from you. Catch this in the here and take it up with the post. The post really, how I gauge it is the height of the post. 
um, it's roughly the same space as from where the post is to the eye. So once we get to this part, another small bit of dubbing. Got that on and we're going to cover behind and in front of the, the post just like so and when we get to here let your thread hang on the opposite side of the fly from yourself if it's a long feather like this hackle sorry you can turn up your hands three to four turns is enough so there we go four turns then I'll turn the fly up on the side and come in three or four times pull the hackle back come forward of the dubbing and create a small head at this point I'll get varnish and just give a small dab of varnish just up the thread here small dab and then we're going to come in and we'll finish this. So pull your hackle back out of the way and four or five turn work finish. And then cut that off. Now you got the hackle here this side, just come up and nip that off. And then we can straighten this all up. The wing itself about the length of the body from the post back. And there we go. Honestly, this is an awesome fly to try at the minute anyhow. From September to now I've been catching a lot of fish in this, so there you go. Just give that a wee burl, as they say. And let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching. Like it, share it, tell your friends about it. And most of all, give me some feedback in the comments below. Let me know how you get on.